What's good, man? We back with another one, man. Only time for Currency Podcast. You know what it is, man. We got a special guest in the house today, man. So let people know who you is, where you're from, and what you do. It's Lily. Yeah. And I am a caterer, and I own and operate Lily's Food Laboratory. And I'm from Abita, but I'm located in Hammond, and I do travel. So book with me for all your catering needs right straight on the advertisement stop playing she's not, <laughs> she's not playing with y'all so um Ray, what uh what made you get in uh catering and cooking cooking that's been like my life passion like since i was little i started cooking chicken at like 12 13 yeah. and i just loved it mm-hmm. i like people reactions to the food was you always were you always a good cooker when you started no, not the best. It took me a little minute to get some red beans down, but I got it. <laughs> yeah. What's your uh, What's your favorite thing to cook? I think like red beans, soups, and stews and stuff like that. Yeah. What What's the uh, What's your least favorite thing to cook? I don't really have a least favorite, but like stuffing my meats and things like that like my chicken and catfish and stuff is time consuming right but i don't like to bake right. but i you know do some things it is is baking part of your catering some baking simple old-fashioned type pound cakes and pies and things like that so you said you from uh you you from a beater how how was that like how was uh life like growing up in a beater for you Life in Abita used to be fun. It used to be fun. We used to have some good times out there with my friends and stuff. But we grow a little older. Yeah. And things kind of change. So. Do you feel like that's good for some people? Uh, it's good in a sense. And then it sucks when you go visit and it's still the people that's the same. Mm-hmm. So it have its ups and downs, like the pros and cons of it. Right. So, uh, what's what's uh, what school you went to when you was in the like the, the last school? Found Blue High. How how, how was Found Blue for you? Found Blue was decent, decent. I had a nice little diverse crowd of friends. I did pro start. Yeah. Yeah, like that's where it really got serious. They had the they had to stop us from taking our food out there because. I told them, like, shit, I cook for y'all in class, like, and I bring it yeah. out there. I used to cook for my friends for breakfast. I cook it at home, mm-hmm. wrap it up, put it in my book sack, yeah. and go to the cafeteria. We'll get, like, pancakes. I used to make, like, chicken breast, everything, get about 5 o'clock in the morning before the bus came. You was doing this in high school? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. I was, I was over there and coming to high So it's like... You know when you in different parts of Covington and Abita, like you know certain people, but like when you don't go to the same school, you don't see them all the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I knew about you, like okay, um, you got any siblings? Yeah, I got a lot of siblings. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of them. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so um, how was your um, life like growing up with your siblings? Life growing up with my siblings was, I had one brother I was real close to, and the other ones, you know, we wasn't as close, so, you know, like, you get older, and it's just, you know, we speak, and when we see each other, but it don't hit the same, like, All right. I wish it could be different, like, better, closer. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, um, like, when you do grow older, like, you do understand that people have lives, you know what I'm saying, so you don't really try to be selfish with people's time. You know what I'm saying? So it's good, you know, some people don't speak to their family at all, you know what I'm saying? So it's good that y'all still got that high and by relationship. But that's how it be, like, still sometimes, like, we go a minute without speaking. Like, I just, I wish I could be closer with them, though. Yeah. But just different circumstances and different lifestyles of how everybody grew up, you know? Mm-hmm. So, shit, I had one brother that me and him, but the rest of them, we was just all... In different spots. I had different parents. Oh, yeah. yeah, most of them. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah. So when, when you got like when you got like that, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, as long as you know of your siblings, like I don't really feel like it's that bad. Like I don't feel like you gotta be tight, tight, because you know they got their own life over there mm-hmm. with their mama. 
too, you know what I'm saying? So as long as y'all speak to each other, like, that's still good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so back to, back to your business. Like, so what made you um, want to really get into cooking and stuff? I got tired of working for other people. My thing was, I go to these restaurants as a prep cook. I make y'all food taste good. I make y'all look good. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they getting the credit mm -hmm. and trying to figure out how it's getting done at the same time. Right. But you could all be, we could all be in the restaurant, right, with the same recipe. But if we don't share the same love for it, it ain't going to hit the same. You get what I'm saying? Right. So the last job that I worked at was Santa Fe in Hammond. And the owner asked me, he was like, why your food just tastes so different? Like, you know, I'm like, I don't know how I follow these recipes, but that could be, you know, a little better. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> so uh, what's the last job you worked at? Santa Fe in Hammond, right here. Mm -hmm. Bottom all. How was that job for you? It was fun. We had fun. We had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But it just, everybody ain't shit that love. And then they try to slam me with the work once they realize, like, this hitting better on these days. So, mm -hmm. we going to... Make her do all the work. If I'm do all the work, I'm gonna make all the money. Like, right. Right. so um, making that making that decision and that transition into want to do it for yourself. How was that for you? It's hard. It's still hard sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. it have its ups and downs. Like one one month I might be banking. You get what I'm saying? Right. The next month it might be slow as hell. I'll be like, fuck, is it even worth it at this point? But right, right. I keep going. Fuck, I show up every day. Gotta keep going. Got to. Thanks. So, um, working with, um, you do take orders and place orders. You do ship. So, what's, like, the worst thing about having your own business? People think you a robot, like. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, people think you just. I'm here 24 7 in a sense, but I get tired just like the next person. I got right. kids just like anybody else. Right. You get what I'm saying? <coughs> uh uh. Mm -hmm. They think you just supposed to be a robot, and it don't matter what time they feel like you're supposed to break them back. And if mm -hmm. you don't, you acting funny because, uh, like, yeah, that's my only downfall. Right. Like, I'm working on it. Yeah, working on my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like that because sometimes like people feel like they they, they take it kindness for weakness. You know, what I'm saying they feel like they can play to. with you. You know, what I'm saying. And then as a business owner, and then having your own stuff, you gotta ha you gotta hold a certain standard mm -hmm. with that. So it's like, when 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 do you like just cut off a person's business from like how far how far will a person have to go? Not for at all. That might be the problem. <laughs> right. Because after so long, I'm going to just not respond. Like, I'm not even going to tell you I don't want to do business. I'm going to bullshit like you bullshit me. And just, we're going to call it a day. No beef, no bad blood. Whenever you ready to book for real, then come out at me. But, yeah. That, uh, <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done had that before. Like, a girl, okay, first time making something. You know, you're going to sell a, a little cheaper just to kind of get it, you know, out there. So now the second time, I'm charging you for for my time that I done put in, for everything. You know what I'm saying? She had a complaint about the second one. So I'm like, okay. I offer her wings in the place of it. Right. She get the wings. Okay, you ain't pay for them. Now you're like, oh, well, this is what. Okay, girl. You have a good one, baby. Just right. don't worry about it. Well, it and you still like gave it a chance, you know what I'm saying? Like you really could have just been like, you know, okay, you can take that and that'd be the end of the deal. Like you still trying to, you know, be a nice person and hold hold your business to a certain standard, you know what I'm saying? And give her something in place of the comment. But you know, some people just be doing too much. Yeah, they do push it. I don't know. This other girl, she tried play games. She asked for her food to be delivered. I did all that, and she. Then when I made it to the house, she ain't come to her door. Like, this is like when I first started. So I think they understand, like, all right, 
she cool, but we ain't finna play with her like that. Cause yeah. no ma'am, don't sit up there and then you got on Facebook and try to talk. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Like yeah. no ma'am, yeah, don't yeah. do that. And then you talking about you done fell asleep. No ma'am, go ahead now. I I remember I remember that little <laughs> incident that was going around, man. So yeah, again, like I said, people taking kindness for weakness, and then they want to play with you. You know what I'm saying? But then. You also want to be professional at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So I feel where you're coming from. I definitely feel, people, are, people are really take you there. You yeah. So, like yeah. sometimes you just have to, like, because they not going to understand until you get on their level. I don't be liking to because God working on me. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I be having to. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't get off the toilet. I'm going to ask you um, a few questions, and I want you to give me your answer out of the two and, and the reason why you picked that answer. All right. All right, so money or respect? Respect. Why Why you pick respect? Because I'm always get money. That's nothing. Like, mm -hmm. money flow. But you're not going to play with me. Right. At all. <laughs> like... <laughs> Cause mm -mm, you would sometimes people would do anything for money. They don't. Right. They don't care because they're gonna do it for the dollar. Right. But you gonna respect me at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. Cause I was raised by my grandma. We didn't play all that. Right. Like <laughs> you gonna respect me? Mm -hmm. So uh, who's your um, favorite singer, music wise? Rihanna. Rihanna. That's right. my girl. So I, I I usually do this with the guys. You know, I switch it up for whoever I have on the uh, on the uh, interview. So, would you rather go to a Rihanna concert or do a catering business for someone? With Rihanna? No, like Rihanna got a concert, okay. or you gonna have to work at a catering business? Which one would you rather do, work or the concert? I'm gonna go to the concert. <laughs> Why you going to because that? I'm a single mother at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. running yeah. a business, yeah. and it's hard to get some time for yourself. So if I, the opportunity was to present itself, I'm definitely going to the concert. Right. I'm gonna always get the money. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, <thanks. laughs> That's good. All right, so um, Thank you. do you like winter time or summertime? I'm in between. I like this time, fallish, going into you know that time of the year, getting ready for the holidays, prepping for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So. So is it like certain things you like to cook around those times? I do my dressing. Yeah. I do my dressings, my pies, my cakes. That's when I do my most shipping. Right. Like that's the the thing. Like I do. The most shipping on a holiday. How the um how the shipping work? Like right? how, how you got? The, how was your first experience with shipping stuff? So? Okay, my first experience with shipping was my first few months in business. Mm -hmm. So my cousin in Vegas, and she sent me the picture of her. I ain't never made it before, yeah. and that's my problem. Like. I ain't scared to try something at least once. If I can't, if I fuck it up too bad, I'll send your money back. Right. It's never, you know what I'm saying? But it was some sweet potato pies with pralines on top. I was like, yeah, I could do that. Mm -hmm. I wrapped some things up and saran wrap. I mean, went through the whole roll. Did you, um, like, search up how to do that? Or you just did it? Like, I just did it off instinct type shit. Right. Like, this style with my mind to come, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did that. That was my first day was Las Vegas. 